Signs and synchronicities can come through in many different ways. A lot of times those ways are very magical. They will stop you in your tracks and really get you focused. In this video, I want to talk about an amazing experience I had this weekend where I was actually able to reach out to my pet Doberman Maverick, who passed away in 2018, connect with him. And then what happened next was truly mind blowing. So if you are trying to connect with your guides, your higher self, trying to connect with deceased loved ones, even your pet, I want you to know that the connection is there. Sometimes all you need to do is simply ask for it and you shall receive, which is exactly what I did just a few days ago. So middle of the afternoon, I was just sitting with my wife. We were sitting on the couch and I decided to reach out to my dog, Maverick, who passed on in 2018. And um, I have this little ghost app on my phone, which is kind of fun to use. Sometimes I'll turn that on. Sometimes I'll just throw out some questions and see what responds just for fun. Uh, my wife really likes it. She doesn't have quite that telepathic awareness of the connection of her guides as I do. So sometimes I'll use that ghost app just for fun to see what we get. So I turned on the app and I reached out to Maverick. And I know Maverick comes around occasionally. He's told me that telepathically in the past. I know I've told the story about shortly after he passed where we came home one night and a couch pillow was on the floor. He used to kick him off the floor. This was after he passed. And a little vase of little flowers was tipped over off the fireplace mantle onto the floor. Something else he used to do was stick his nose in that and knock it off the mantle. So these types of signs have happened. Sometimes, I know my son Alex has seen him in the house. Sometimes we'll hear footsteps and things like that. So he's around. So I turned on the app and I asked out, um, are you, Maverick, are you around? And a mo minute or two later, got a response through the, the app that said, I come and go. So that was really, really cool. So I got heart-centered. I was able to connect with him directly, as I have done in the past. And I asked him, I said, can you provide me with an absolute undeniable sign sometimes to, sometime today that you are here with us? And I wanted something so undeniable that my wife would experience it as well and be like, wow, that's just absolutely crazy. There's contact. And I know that makes her feel really, really warm inside and really, really good. So I kind of left it at that. Well, later in the evening, we went out for dinner and we were sitting in a restaurant. And as soon as we get seated, this was a sports bar, radio going on the, on the music, the radio, the speakers comes, take me home. Gen uh, Phil Collins, sorry, not Genesis, it's Phil Collins song, my favorite song of all time. And um, right away when I hear Phil Collins or Genesis, when I'm out and about and it comes on randomly, I perk up. That's a sign for me, a sign for my higher self, a sign for my guides to be aware of what's coming next. I've had that happen. I've received contact shortly after, moments later from my mom, from my dad, from my guide. So it kind of gets me centered gets me alert, gets me aware. I get focused internally and become a receiver. So Take Me Home's playing. And then it, the song ends and we're sitting there and I look up at the TV screen. There's TVs everywhere. They've got sports events on and stuff. And there's two women, probably a UFC fight fighting. One of their names on the screen is Maverick. Okay, so I say to my wife, I go turn around and look at the screen. And she turns around and she goes, wow. Okay, so... Here comes a synchronicity of a sign. This woman's name is Maverick. My dog's name was Maverick. I asked for an undeniable sign. Take me home was the lead up. Maverick was the confirmation of that. Now, it didn't stop there, okay? After I realized that, the next song that came on was Come Sail Away by Styx. Okay, it's a song that I have. In fact, both Take Me Home and Come Sail Away are both songs that I have in my mind movie. Movie I made a mind movie probably back in 2018 after um, listening, getting into Joe Dispenza's work. I created a mind movie. Both those songs are in there. So again, another synchronicity. So the amazing thing and the thing I want to pass along in this video is that when we feel 
you feel you're separated from those who have passed on or you're separated from your guides you're separated from your higher self you truly are not that is a limiting belief that you are carrying that is holding you back it is making you something that you're not you are identifying with the human avatar and seeing yourself as separate and cut off from the universe that is absolutely not true these things happen to me they've happened time and time again i simply asked for a sign and i wanted a physical sign i wanted a sign that to land in this time space reality so that it would be undeniable okay simply asked for it and sure enough it came take me home maverick come sail away that was kind of like the closing piece. There was one other thing that happened that was really, really interesting. Before we went to the restaurant that day, we were talking about dogs. And my wife was telling me how people would just take their puppies to work where she worked and she'd get to visit with them. So I immediately thought of one of her friends who had, a when she got her puppy, brought it to work all the time. I remember my wife telling me that. Well, when we were at the restaurant that night, I'm sitting at the table. My wife has her, her back to where people were standing. And I look and this woman's staring at me. And she starts to walk over to me with this inquisitive look. And it was that woman that worked with my wife. So she turned and saw my wife. She goes, oh, I knew I recognized your husband. So there she was. I had just thought of her earlier in that day. And there she was at the restaurant. I asked my wife when was the last time she saw her. She used to work with her. She doesn't anymore. It's been a few years. Okay. So these are the quantum connections, the quantum entanglement, the information that passes in the quantum field that opens up all of these possibilities. And these possibilities are always there to be experienced. It's just that we're closing ourselves off from experiencing them, from perceiving them because of our beliefs. We're either too focused in the mental, in the field, worrying about what's happening next or what we have to do that's taking us out of the present moment and into the future, or we're, we're, afraid to move forward because we're dwelling on something that happened in our past. So these are both things that keep us separated from the present moment. When you can drop in and get heart-centered, you can experience these types of synchronicities. Now, I have that conscious connection with my guides and with my relatives that have passed. Um, don't always connect, but when I get heart-centered and get present enough, I can connect. And it's a very telepathic um, type of a connection. I've connected with Maverick in the past. This time, though, I wanted to bring forward something that landed physically. I wanted my wife to have that experience as well. And he was amazing enough to provide it, whether it was him, whether it was my higher self, whether it was my guides, the universe, whatever it is. Those are all stories we tell ourselves. The important thing to note is that I was present enough and aware to be able to make the connection, the quantum connection, and spot these things as they were made available to me. So that there is validation that you are far greater than this human body and that we are all connected. There are things happening in the quantum field, in the zero point field that we can't always perceive, right? But when we get centered, heart centered enough, there's a portal in your heart that will open you up to have these types of multidimensional experiences and once you get, just anchor that awareness, anchor that consciousness through the shadow work we do, through the healing work that I teach, through the breath work, reconnect you with your body. You start to gain control over your experiences that are manifest, the reality that you are creating because you are the one creating your reality. You have to ask yourself the question, do you want to create your reality from your limiting beliefs or do you want to create your reality from a limitless perspective drop that answer in the comment below i'd love to hear what you guys think i have an idea what you're gonna say but that's how powerful you are i simply sat back i simply put it out there and asked and sure enough it came now as you start to perceive these types of signs and synchronicities and messages you're going to start to learn the cues that are going to get your attention so it all starts with awareness. Become more aware of your environment, more aware of what's happening, more aware of what you're feeling inside your body. And you're going to start to be able to perk up and know when things are about to come forward and unfold 
and land for you. It's such a magical time. This is available for you, not just me. If you need help and want help in getting there, feel free to reach out and I can definitely guide you into that healing space, into that space of being able to open yourself up further. If this video resonated, please watch this one next. Thank you so much.